everyone. Uh, today we're doing a paint pour with um, added stones. So I'm using the gloss pouring medium and you may have seen this. This was one of my shorts. Ah! That happened. That actually happened the next day after resin, but keep watching so you can see how I made this. I noticed right there that the paint was a little too thick so um, it, that worried me a little but I kept going you want more of a watery paint like a, for the base especially chips are from Wind Modern Art. She has a ton of things there. Um, very beautiful. It's very different than what you can buy in the stores. And I'll put everything in the description of where um, the links of where you can get it. I noticed that there wasn't enough stones, but that's okay because once this dries, I'm going to resin it and I can. This is it dry, and you can see like it's not cracks, but it's like I don't know, long divots or something like that. And uh, that is probably because it was too thick and too thin in different spots. So with the flow troll um, mixed properly, <laughs> I thought I did. But uh, with that blowout, I am still learning, I guess. Uh, need to make it, I need to add water to it to make it just the consistency a little um, more watery-like. And so when I add the resin, I'm kind of not worried because it will cover up a lot of the um, divot look and all that because the top will be more glass-like.
right, we're coming up to the point where then I um, put a tent over this. Uh, no sides but the top because I have dogs. And the next day I lifted it up and I see that I was like, oh my gosh. And um, that bug actually was still alive. So I didn't show it, but I took it outside and um, flicked it off carefully. It only lost like two foot, which I felt terrible. But it could move his wings and I let it go. But now this is how to fix it. I used medium grit sandpaper and I lightly went over it. And it was kind of hard, um, so I started getting down a little bit too far into the canvas, and it was still a little brown, so um, I decided to bring it back in, and then you'll see that I painted over the top a little bit with some white. a little bit there. Got a little edge here. While you're painting it, I um, advise you to like try to get it down in the holes. Try to get the main part on the brown or whatever color it is. Um, and then go out to the sides a little bit just to make it look like it's not a straight of the dots because it might show through through the resin. I wasn't quite sure. So you'll see me later on like spreading it out a little bit to the sides. This ended up needing three coats. Um, I let it dry, I did another one, just trying to tap, 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 tap it down. But then I started right on the resin as soon as that dried. I'm, I kind of fast forward this because you already saw me do the resin. So, I mean, everybody kind of could get that from the first part, so this is really sped up. Some bubbles there, but torch and pop. 